For years, people have been saying, this is the year of the Linux desktop. But 2025, it might actually be true. Here are five reasons why Linux could finally break through for everyday PC users. Microsoft's latest OS is packed with bloatware and telemetry that's hard to disable without breaking things. Their new recall feature literally records everything you do. Even worse, future updates might remove your ability to turn it off. For users who care about privacy, Windows is becoming a serious risk. October 14th is the last day Windows 10 gets free security updates. After that, you'll need to pay $61 a year for patches, icky, and that price doubles each year. So unless you want to pay up or downgrade to Windows 11, it might be time to try Linux. Distros like Linux Mint and Pop OS offer beginner-friendly interfaces and out-of-the-box hardware support. You don't need to learn the terminal to get started. Installing Linux today is as simple as downloading an app and following a setup guide. Whether you want something lightweight, security-focused, or built for gaming, Linux has it. From DietPy to Coop's OS to Nobara, the variety is unmatched. And yes, distro hopping is a real addiction. Valve's Steam OS, powered by Proton, lets you run most games on Linux at native performance with a public release for all hardware coming soon. Linux gaming is no longer just a niche. If Valve can push support for multiplayer anti-cheats, Linux might finally beat Windows at its own game. Microsoft is pushing users away. Linux is ready to welcome them. 2025 might not just be the year of the Linux desktop. It could be the year Windows finally loses its grip.